So good morning, good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. My name is Elvis and welcome to Two Cents with Elvis. The thing is that um, I always use the small time I have in the car to do this car series, to talk to my people, to talk to our people. If you find any value in what I'm saying, you can share it to your friends and whoever you feel that it might help. If you think that what I'm saying doesn't make sense, please write it on the comment section. Maybe we can have a, an interactive session where we all come here and talk about it. Each topic, any topic you want. I mean, we can host a StreamYard link that people will come and discuss. If you want to ask questions, if there's any Zaga going online that you want to know, that you want to be clarified, if there's any question, any rumors, any gossip that you heard that you want to uh, know what's going on, then we can still come here to talk about it face to face. I believe in talking to people face to face. So, with that said and done, my name is Elvis. If you see me for the first time, my name is Elvis and I keep it 100% real. Whatever I say here is not because I'm a professional, it's not because I know it all, it's not because I am a, uh, a profi in whichever uh, subject I was, I'm dealing with. It's because of life experience. I am now 41 years old, which means I have lived life. When I talk about women, girls, which means I have had a couple of them. When I talk about relationship, which means I have had a couple of relationships. When I talk about business, which means I have had some business that I failed. <laughs> I have had some that I lost money. I have had some that I did some mistakes. I have had some that I also prospered. So anything I talk here, anything I say here doesn't mean that I know it all. It's just trying to exchange, trying to exchange ideas, trying to exchange experience with people so that when you write on comment section, maybe I will learn something from you. So with that said and done, let's go into it. The subject we are dealing today is which subject should we choose? A lot of things to talk about. Oh God! So, let's talk about um. Let's talk about um. The job you do. The job you do. Make sure that you are very proud of whichever job you're doing, because in this world we are living in today, this 2022, things have gone way 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 forward that everybody want to be recognized in the society everybody want acknowledgement everybody want people to know them everybody want to pose everybody want to show off everybody want to show their latest cars their latest wristwatch everybody want to show that they're the best everybody want to show that they speak the most perfect english that they do the most perfect decent job everybody want to show that they are the best that is just what is going on right now when you see a guy on the street, when you see a woman on the street, she really wants to show off that she is the best. Like whatever thing she's wearing is the best, that she is always... I mean, like seriously, whatever job you're doing to make that your money, whatever job you're doing to earn, to earn your living, don't be ashamed of this job. Never you be ashamed of any job you're doing. Like some people know here that uh, we actually have a food truck. Some people will see me walking on the food truck. The next day, they will see me on a movie set, doing movies. The next day, they, they are confused. They don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I post everything I do on my social media platforms. You see me serving people food on a food truck. You see me carrying the food truck. The next day, you see me shooting a TV series that is, that is, that, that, that is, that is showing every day in German television. Then you don't understand. You say, oh, this guy, what is he doing? Because I'm not hurt myself. Why should I come and tell you that I am the last millionaire, the latest millionaire in town when I don't have nothing. Where should I come and hide what I'm doing for you to, to, to please you? Do you understand? Why should, I, why should I cover up myself for you to think that, okay, this guy is just a movie producer? No. I do many things. You have to have uh, a, a lot, as much as possible uh, means of income. So when I go out with a food truck, I will serve the people food. I will clean the table. I will wash the dishes. Do you understand? Then from the other days, I will do what I got to do. Do you understand? <laughs> I produce a lot of stuff, a lot of content. Right now, presently for German television. So what I'm trying to say is this. That you're washing plates in a restaurant, which I have done before. I have washed plates in a restaurant for, for, for more than three years. Do you understand? When I came to Germany, I was washing plates in a restaurant. You understand? There are some people that wash plates that they use that plate washing to beat. I have a working colleague then. He was washing plates. And if you see his mansion in Nigeria, you will not believe that this is a dishwasher. So don't be ashamed of whichever work that is putting food on your table. 
Because at the end of the day, those guys that are that are claiming that they know it all, that are claiming that they are they are they are maybe they are using a, a laptop to scam people to make money, Yahoo boys, they will be forming on the club and proving that they are the best. At the end of the day, when these people go to jail, you are the one be standing. Your salary, your money is endless. It's coming in every day. But some people that they will scam people, they will do one or two things to make fast money. Their money is limited. It doesn't last. And most of the guys that work all this minor job, they do investment because they know that they struggle so hard to make this money. They use it to invest. Before you know it, after 10 years down the road, you see that these guys are having companies, having poultry farms, having a lot of stuffs that is giving them extra money, having baby saloon, you know, doing things because the money that they earn is a hard-earned money. So don't you ever be ashamed of whichever work you're doing. If you're working as a laborer, then you're working as a laborer, bro. Anybody ask you what I work, you say, I'm working for this company as a laborer. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. You meet a girl, they can ask you, what are you doing? You say, listen, I am a barber. I bab hair. Don't hide it. Even if you are learning how to bab the hair, tell this girl that I am learning how to bab hair. I believe in the next six months I will be done. And my plan is to open my own barber salon. This girl wants to know, wants to see the future in you. This girl wants to know what you think. Do you want to stay, be stagnant on the same level, or you want to move from here? If this girl know, because most of the things that the guys do, they want to use it to impress women. And these women, when you praise them and impress them and impress them, after a while, they will ditch you and dump you when you don't have money to impress them no more. And they will go to the next guy that will impress them more. So don't do that. Don't impress anybody. Don't try to impress women by lying to them that you are doing A, B, C, D, Z when you are not doing it. Be real to yourself. If she don't want, don't want, if she wants to go, you she go. Because if you have a plan, you have you have ideas, you know what where you're coming from and where you're going. There are some situations that will make you have a minimal job. That you are cleaning the streets doesn't mean that your life ends there. You might be cleaning a street today and tomorrow you are a manager of a company. You understand? So don't you ever be ashamed of whichever work you're doing. I'm talking to men. Because women, women, their own case is different. Women is that they will not, they will, they will, you, some, some, some girls that are doing a lot of nasty stuff, you will see them, they will be checking a guy out and asking you, what do you do? When them, they say, they don't even have a tangible job they're doing. Do you understand? So I'm talking about men today because I've been there before. Don't ever try to impress, don't ever try to impress women by trying to, Trying to spend what you don't have. Don't do that, bro. Because that woman you're trying to impress by spending what you don't have. The next two weeks, she's going to be with another guy because you don't have that money at the same at that time. Don't go and overspend what you don't have because you want to impress any woman. Because you've lied to her that you are working for a company. Assuming that you are a cleaner in this company, you told her that you are an engineer in that company. So which means as an engineer... When you go out, you have to go with Uber, you have to go with taxi, you have to spend, you have to buy a bottle of champagne, you have to buy a bottle of wine to impress her because you have already told that you are an engineer. But tell her that you are doing a cleaning job in this company. Then tell her that your plan is to open one big poultry farm in Nigeria, in Jamaica, wherever you are coming from. Tell her that from here you are cleaning this and you are, you are learning online, you are doing online courses, you are doing this, you want to elevate so that she will know that you don't want to be stagnant as a cleaner forever. Let her understand that you have vision. Let her understand that you have aspiration and vision that you want to move from A to B. That you don't want to be stagnant. There must be some circumstances that will make you have any job that you can take. Don't be ashamed of that. It's better that you make this job. It's better that you take this job done for you to do some things that will make you learn in prison after two, three months. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you're doing because there are millions of people that don't even have a job. When you come to Germany where I'm living, there are a lot of German people. They are homeless people. They don't have house. They don't have food. They don't have a job. They are Germans. They are not even, they are not even having this problem of looking for their document, of looking for their passport or trying to get a visa. They are born German, but still they are outside in the rain in the cold they are homeless but for you as a foreigner that came from wherever you come from to europe you are trying to survive you are trying to hustle you find a job that you can you can do you have an apartment that you're living if you're living in one room apartment it is what it is bro 
Don't tell that girl you are living in a mansion. Tell her that for now, currently, I am sharing apartment with my brother. Currently, I am sharing apartment with my housemate. Don't tell her what you don't have. Don't tell her that you have a house somewhere. There. Don't lie. Don't say all these things. Because at the end of the day, you see that you will be using all your savings. You will be using all your money to be in that level that you have already portrayed yourself to be. You will be using your money to, to, to fit in because you have already lied at the first time that you are the manager of this company, that you are an engineer of this company, when actually in the, in the, in the reality, you are just a cleaner in this company. So don't even go there, bro. Don't go there. Be proud of what you're doing. Be proud, bro. Be proud because there are a lot of people that don't even have a job. There are a lot of people they don't even have a job. There are a lot of people they are hungry to work, they don't have a job. So whatever job you're doing, be proud that you wake up in the morning and go and get that job done. Be very, very proud. If that woman wants to stay, she will stay. If she wants to go, any bed that wants to fly, we fly. If she don't want to stay, let her go, bro. Don't you try to... There are some women that you cannot please, no matter what you do. So don't even go there. Keep it real. If it's a good man that's supposed to be with you, she will stay. She will encourage you. Assume that she's a banker somewhere and you are a, a cleaner. That is when you will know if she can be loyal to you. That is when you will know if she can be humble and meek. If she have respect for you, even though she's a banker, she's an engineer, she's a pilot, but you are a cleaner. That is when you will know if this woman is for you or not. Do you understand? If she cannot respect you, so for ladies, respect your man. <laughs> respect your man. If you don't do that, I will, I'm going to deal with this topic next time. If you don't do that, tomorrow you start crying. You start crying, oh, he have left me. Oh, he, he, he have, uh, he have, uh, he's not going with my best friend, uh, my, my, my best friend. Just because you, 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 you're not, you're not, you, you don't have respect for your man. So let me go back to the guys. Guys, please, brothers, I'm talking to you like a brother. Like I said, I don't know it all. I have made a lot of mistakes in my life as well. Do you understand? I have lied as well when I was younger. I have lied. I will tell you that my container is coming from China to Hong Kong. My China, the next container is coming to Nigeria the next day. Just to hype. For you to, to, to feel that this guy is doing well. At the end of the day, when it comes to the integrity, when it comes to the real cash, when it comes to, to do things, to make some doings, then you start giving excuses. You not tell them that your container is being seized in the hall. Wolf. All these things is cock and boo stories. Keep it real, bro. If you don't have a car, you don't have a car. If you are living in Europe, I am talking about people living in Europe. If you are living in Europe, there is always train, buses. You don't, you must not owe a a lot of German people that have a lot of money, they don't even have a car because when they calculate the insurance they will pay in a car, the insurance they will pay, the tax they will pay, they will say they will rather save this money and use it for something better. They will rather save this money and buy a house. They will use train because the train is moving constantly every five, five minutes. So if you don't have a car, bro, a, having a car is not an achievement. And a car is the cheapest thing anyone can get in Europe because you can buy it credit like a, like, a, like, a, like a phone contract. You can buy a car and every month you pay them 100 euros. Do you understand? So if you don't have a car, don't try to impress a woman by hyping yourself. Do you understand? If she's the one that, that always like to take taxi from A to B, she wants to take Uber from A to B. My brother, run. Run away. Don't go there. Don't go there because the German citizens, the German girls, beautiful girls, the white people, they are taking train and buses that have better job, better money. But that girl that is just wearing Brazilian wig, that don't have anything to offer, that don't even have any business idea, she is the one that will tell you, book Uber for me. Why? Book Uber for what? Book Uber, why? It's not night. It's not cold. Everybody's gay, go, go, traveling with it. S-Bahn, U-Bahn, transportation everywhere in Europe. But she wants you because she wants to come to visit you. She wants you to book a taxi for her. But I don't do that. Book a taxi for her when it's dangerous. When you know it's night, she cannot go alone. When you know it's too cold for her to wait for the bus outside. When you know that you don't want her to suffer, you can book Uber for her. 
but not because she just want to come and chill with you then she wants you to book uber for her and book a taxi for her bro don't do that so let me call this thing short before it goes so long what i'm trying to say in effect is this whatever job you're doing make sure that you are proud of the job you're doing proud of yourself if you are a cleaner you're a cleaner bro you work with a company and you are cleaning there it is just what it is, bro. All these fingers you're seeing, the fingers are not just equal. That the next guy is have been a, a is a ma bank manager doesn't mean maybe that guy that is a bank manager, maybe his D cannot even stand up, for example. Maybe that guy that is a bank manager, maybe he don't even know how to F, for example. Do you understand? But you have your own qualities. Maybe that guy that is a bank manager, he have one sickness that he's battling with. But you are healthy. And you have a job as a cleaner. So be proud of yourself and be proud of your job. And don't make no woman, no man, nobody make you to start lying, to hype, to try to convince this person that you're someone. You are the person that you are. So your job don't identify your personality. I'm trying to keep it 100% right, bro, because I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Keep it real. If you're selling food, you're selling food. Do you understand? If you have a small kiosk, you are selling cigarettes and uh, lighter and bonbons, that is your business. That is what you have. Then you plan on how to expand it and take over the whole world with that in your doing. Do you understand? So like I said, my name is Elvis and I'm talking to you from a brother to a brother. This is a family talk. This is not a motivational speech. I am telling you this so that you will think about it. And don't impress no woman. Don't live above your income. Don't take credit to please a woman. Don't borrow money to please a woman. Don't borrow money to please a woman, bro. Don't do that. If you don't have money for holiday, she wants to go to holiday, she wants to go to Dubai because her friends are going to Dubai. If you can't afford it, tell her, please, baby, wait. I am saving for it. If we can't go next this year, we go next year. But if she's not patient enough and she can't even bring the money, then let her go. Don't let a woman threaten you for you to go and start borrowing money and doing criminality, stealing because you want to please them. And don't see you try to hype yourself when you're trying to meet a lady, telling them that you're a bank manager, you are, you are a governor, you are, you, are, you are an engineer, you're a pilot, when you know you're not. Don't put yourself in no trouble. Keep it real, bro. Keep it real. Let me tell you one thing you don't understand. The women, go to Google, go and research. The women that are born every day, girls are born every day, they are much more in number than the, female, than the male. So, which means there are girls everywhere, bro. Everywhere there are girls. Everywhere there are girls. You just have to look around. So, if this girl cannot stay, if this girl cannot be with you because you are a cleaner, let her go, bro. The beautiful ones are not yet born. I'm out.